Hello and welcome to episode two of Chasing Cap UK. You join me down at Norton Disney in Lincolnshire. I'm here for 48 hours fishing on Billy's Lake behind me. Uh, it's a very busy weekend this weekend. We've got Danny Fairbrass on site. Obviously it's his lake, but we've got him on site. He's doing the, uh, the, the Kaizen rod launch, his new range of rods. Uh, they're doing some, uh, some test runs of them and letting the public uh, come on site and cast them out and see what they're like. Uh, he's joined by some of the UK's top carpers. He's Neil Spooner is on site. We've got Daryl Peck. We've got uh, Tom Stokes is on site as well. Big fan of Tom Stokes. Um, and of course, like I said, the legend himself, Neil Spooner. Uh, we will try and catch up with them later on uh, in the episode if we get chance. I'll also take a look at the new cars on Rod Range if we get chance. Um, and just a quick one before we dive into the session, I'd just like to say a big thank you to everybody who viewed, liked and subscribed. Uh, after episode one, I was absolutely overwhelmed with the positive feedback and uh, support from you guys. So I'd just like to say thank you very much. Uh, and if you did miss episode one, please do head over to the channel uh, and check it out. But uh, also, if you haven't already, um, do subscribe, do hit the bell notification and you'll be notified of any uh, future uploads. I do try and get out every two weeks and I will be hitting some of the, the, uh, the big day ticket venues. Um, and hopefully I can get some more episodes done across them. So now to get into episode two, I hope you enjoy it. So the rod's been out about an hour, we're into the first carp already. I can see this is going to be a good session. Uh, there's a um, PVA bag, two milli pellets in, uh, fisheries on, uh, double sweet corn on. I've had, I've had a lot of luck here with uh, double sweet corn, so it's always my go-to. And we're into a first of... Uh, Hopefully many. Took a lot of line out, but he's still coming back in now. Well, the rods have been out an hour. Uh, first fish of the session, absolutely over the moon. Break that blank and spree. Um, first fish of 2023 as well. Beautiful mirror. Haven't weighed, haven't weighed it yet, but we'll get to that. Look at that. Look at the shoulders on him. He's going to be a big fella. He's going to be a big fella. Beautiful linear mirror. Absolutely over the moon. Like I say, the rods have been out an hour. Hopefully, the first of many. Oh. 
So, Rod's been out 30 seconds again. Same, uh, same approach, PVA bag, double corn. Was out 30 seconds and I'm in again. 20 wraps out. There you go. Get in! Yeah, I'm not gonna weigh this one because it's a little bit small than the other one. Uh, 24 pound the other one was. But another beautiful mirror carp. Love the colour on this. Beautiful fish. Nice sun-kissed orange colour. Yes, yeah, so that's number two in about an hour and a half. So it looks like we're on for a good session. Let's get this one back and let's get the rod back out again. Hello guys, well I've not had much time to do any filming yet, um, we had a bit of a crazy start, so we got down here and then the heavens opened up uh, and then as you'll have seen already I had two, two runs trying to get all three rods out, trying to get all the gear set up, get the bivy set up, it was an absolute nightmare so I've just been there. Uh, just messing around with everything, trying to find some decent spots. Um, three, three rods are back out again on PVA bags, and I'm pretty confident now where I'm at, settled. Everything's calmed down a bit. Just been spotting in gale force winds and rain. Oh, how well. And then all of a sudden now, two minutes later, it's, I don't know if you can see, but it's nice and sunny. We're getting every, every season in the space of an hour, but we have to push on if we want them fish. Just a quick update guys as we are heading into the first night. It's absolutely hossing it down. Yeah, it's starting to get a little bit chilly as well. Uh, so back in the bivy now. I'm just gonna chill in here for a bit. Um, just put another 10 spoms out over the rods just to, to get us through the night. Uh, the rods are still out from earlier on. I don't feel like there's any need to move them like, but. But yeah, it's getting a bit cold. It's a quiet day, a quiet afternoon. Thought it was going to be a red letter day with two fish coming out in the space of an hour. But we didn't have no more. I'm um, fishing a double peg with my mate Will. He's not had anything either, so... I've not really seen much around Billy's. I've not really seen anyone having anything, to be honest. Oh, pardon me. Um, so no. Hopeful going into the night, though. Hopefully, we'll see some more fish. Uh, if not, I'll catch up with you in the morning. See you then. Well, good morning, guys. 
Uh, just a quick update. Uh, yesterday I left off, we were just going into the night. Rod's gone back out again, bit of bait over the top. Uh, really quiet night last night, nothing, not even a beep. Weather was horrendous, so windy. Um, but yeah, nothing at all, it was so quiet, I couldn't believe it. I mean, uh, kind of got me hopes up yesterday when I was had them two fish within the rods being out an hour and then it just kind of died off. Um, but yeah, it's just really quiet last night. Yeah, I had a bit of a lie in this morning, didn't really sleep much yesterday, I was knackered. So I was out like a light last night, it was half past eight, I must have been gone. Um, and just slept all the way through. Uh, the swans had us up a couple of times to be honest but it was just the wind it was just bouncing off the bivvy I was half expecting to wake up this morning and the bivvy was going to be in the lake but uh, yeah I've just sat down cup of tea bacon sandwich just reeled one of the rods in um, changed the PVA bag over for a zig rules here only one zig per per three rod so change one over to a little yellow foam with a black aligner um, and I've just wellied that out so I'll leave that for a couple of hours uh, I'll change it's adjustable so I'll be changing the depths every 25 minutes or so just up and down a foot just to try and find where they're feeding from and um, we'll, we'll see what happens with that but I'm going to reel in this afternoon anyway. I'm going to go and check out the Kaizad rod launch event. I'm going to go and have a cast of the rods and go and see if I can buy some goodies from the shop, uh, get a burger from the burger van. So that's the plan this afternoon. And um, hopefully I'll get some footage of that as well. I'll I'll, uh, I'll take the camera over and see if see if we can have a bit of crack on with uh, with Spooner or Danny or whatever. But. I mean, they might be busy, but we'll see. We'll see what the crack is. Good evening guys, uh, just a quick update, just going into the afternoon now, it's about 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, half 4, something like that, uh, we're just about to get the rod sorted now, uh, wound the rods in for a little bit, had a look over at the, uh, the Kaizen rod launch event, had a look around the stalls, had a chat with a couple of guys, had a talk with Spooder, lovely guy when you meet him in person, um, had a speak with him because he's fishing over the other side actually. Um, Asked him for a little bit of advice, what he's doing. Obviously, it's been quiet. Um, so, the plan is put all the three rods back out again. Uh, I've come off PVA bags now. I want to be fishing at a distance, maybe 26 wraps or so, uh, towards the, the, the middle area. I'll just show you that. So, towards uh, towards like the middle area there. He said a lot of this time of the year, a lot of the fish just hold up in that bowl area. Um, so that's the plan is to 26 wrap up 26 wraps get the uh get all three rods quite quite close in uh quite close together sorry and then just get a bucket of spot over the top so when we were around there um we, we were talking to spooner and he said danny had he's fishing next door to danny fairbrass and he put a full bucket out this morning and then he was on putting another full bucket out now he said get the bait in he said get it in and let the fish are on the feed he said don't be worried just about putting too much out he said get it get it all in there and he said you, you, you'll be looking good for a fish through the night um, obviously it's the last night tonight and I want to I want to catch some more fish as we all do uh, so yeah I'll just give you a, a quick look at the rigs so just a, a normal heli set up uh, three, three, all three on four ounce leads and then I've got a a, a Ronnie rig boom that's just on um, on that cord uh, uh, stiff fluorocarbon, uh, and then we've got a little Ronnie rig on the end of it with little white 12 mil pop up and some uh, pop up corn, 
Corn does really well in here and I don't really want to push away from it. So I'm going to try one like that and the other two were just the same. Just on some uh, fluorocarbon boom with a Ronnie rig on the end. And that's on double pop-up corn. That's what the other two are on. Beads not too high in the top. There's, there's not much weed in there, a little bit at most. So I don't really need the, the bead too high. I'm going to put a PVA nugget. PVA nugget on the end just to help it uh, float down just in case we do land on something uh, a little bit of weed or something but but yeah and then there's the spod mix so I've got a huge tin huge tin of sweet corn in there you get that on site in the tackle shop huge tin of sweet corn with some maize flake and there's some two milli pellets in there as well. There's a couple of blood, blood worm pellets in there out of a bag I had, but that's the plan. I'm gonna chuck a load of that out tonight on all three rods, bait up, and then see what happens. I mean, they are definitely on the feed. So there's the, there's the bag of flake maize that you get from the tackle shop and the bag of two milli pellets from the tackle shop as well. So yeah, they're definitely on the feed. Um, like I say, the guy who was in here before had 17 fish out. Um, but he's fishing on the other side. Will's on the other side. I'm not fishing that side. I'm fishing the left side of the peg. Um, but there's a couple of people being around, like a couple of the guys who work here, and they've all said the same thing, like at the same area, the same distance. So it must be a sort of hot spot. I mean, I've never fished Billy's. I've fished this place a few times, but I've never fished Billy's before. I normally fish Turner's. Um, so, yeah. That's what it is, you know, take advice from people who know the lake well. So that's it, I'm gonna get the rods out, get all three rods out, get a load of bait out, and then see what the night brings. Last night, let's get some more fish. Catch up with you in a bit, guys. guys well another very quiet night nothing at all through the night for either me or will um, we were out last night as well till about sat out on the deck till about 11 o'clock because uh, it was a lovely night last night not one bit of wind wasn't raining it was dead calm it was all right just got wrapped up with a jacket on and sat out there with a cup, cup of tea and just watched the water didn't hear anything going off at all for anyone last night. It was really quiet on the lake. And then it was just quiet all night. I was half expecting, I put the, the rods out yesterday, all three rods out in helis. Uh, it's about 20 to 30 spoms over the top. It's like three quarters of a bucket straight over. Um, I was confident on the area, confident on the spots, confident the bait was out there. And it just, uh, it just looked right going into the night with the weather and and it just didn't happen unfortunately it's just strange how I had set off to a good start when I first came down I was over the mill I was thinking this is going to be a red letter weekend and then all of a sudden it just switches off nothing for like nearly two days so so 
don't know. It's supposed to be the uh, the favourable peg on the on the lake as well. So, but I don't know. I might be wrong, but I don't know what's happened. I don't know what's um, what everyone else has been like around the lake. I've not really heard that much, to be honest. Uh, I've seen a couple of pictures on the, on the Norton Disney page, so people have been having fish out, but I don't think there's a massive amount that come out. The weather's turned turned this morning. Went to sleep last night. It was uh, it was it was quite warm and. There was no rain, it was dead calm. I've woke up this morning and it's absolutely pouring it down. The wind's picked up as well. So it's about seven o'clock now, half seven. So I'm just having a brew now. And then I'm gonna get pack it up. And that'll probably be it for this session. I hate packing up in the rain as well, it's an absolute nightmare, but it's got to be done, hasn't it? But yeah, I'll just give you... I mean, you can see... You can see what it's like this morning. It's dead gloomy and... The wind's picked up. It's actually coming towards us now. Uh, it's been pushing into that, that top corner there since we got here. And now it's coming actually towards us. But yeah, no signs of anything last night. Yeah, no signs of anything last night, nothing to go off. So it's just one of them things, isn't it? Rod's probably going to be out another hour, they'll be last thing to come in. Get everything down, get it to the van, because the van's quite close to this peg. Uh, get everything down, get it out, and then uh, get the rods in, and that'll probably be it. So, next session looking at another two weeks time um, I'm probably going to come back but do Turner's Lake I might do Trent View actually I'll be with my missus on the next session so a little treat for you uh, but no I might uh, I might come back I might do Turner's Lake for the next session or I might like I say I might tr do Trent View a bit early for Trent View in the year for me I like to do Trent View when it it's a uh, properly in the spring it's nice deep water love my zig fishing there and you can have all three rods out on the zigs if you want as well so I have seen on the Facebook page it's doing a couple of fish out over the last couple of weeks and a lot of them are falling to the zigs so that's good it's a good sign so yeah I might hit that place up I might I might even do Ladywood to be honest Nah, I think I'll wait for the lady was. Trent View or back here again, but on Turner's Lake for the next episode. Hopefully that'll be in two weeks time. I like to get out every every fortnight. So But yeah, unfortunately no more fish from uh, from day one, but it's been nice, it's been good to get back out in the bank. Obviously I missed my time two weeks ago because of the um, the weather. We had bad snow. It was uh, really cold, so that had to be called off. But managed to get back out again for this weekend, and hopefully back out again in another two weeks' time. But like I said in the last vlog, I will be trying to hit all the the, the big day ticket waters um, and a few of the smaller ones throughout this year. Try and get out every fortnight up until maybe it's October, November at the latest. And uh, see what we can uh, we can have out and what we can do this year. So yeah, guys, thank you for joining me on episode two. If you like it, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. Hit that notification so you can be a, um, get a notification every time I upload a video. And uh, thank you for all the support as well. And let's hope we can get this channel to grow this year. Until the next video, guys. Catch us on the bank. Happy carping.